Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Today I'm going to use one of my very favorite techniques and that's a mica shift. If you have been watching my channel, you know how much I love that technique. It's very simple and it takes metallic clay and it transforms it into those beautiful pieces of uh, jewelry that you are just so proud to wear. With that being said, kick back, relax, and let's get started. So I'm starting off with graphite. Uh, and pearl which are both metallic colors and I roll out graphite on number uh, two of the pasta machine and the pearl on number six of the past actually seven of the pasta machine so it's much thinner and I'm starting to create a sandwich it's graphite that I'm putting silver leaf on top then the pearl goes on and graphite back on and silver leaf and the pearl and now it is all going to be about creating the sandwich and rolling things out and cutting and slicing and uh, depending on the amount of times that you're going to cut the sandwich is going to determine actually the design of your clay and I'm going to show it to you in just one second so I'm going to cut it create a nice sandwich I'm going to roll it out a little bit I'm going to cut it again and usually after three times I stop but you can continue and you, you don't even have to cut it at all what it's going to create is when we're going to slicing it and you haven't cut it uh, a lot of times you are going to get much thicker lines in your design so right here you can see that my lines you can see that the white is very you have those really thin lines running through the design if you you would just layer it for example twice or once even that you would have a completely different um, design so you should really experiment with it and here I just grabbed some black and that's going to be the the bottom of my clay you just place all the shaped pieces on top and I'm going to run it through the pasta machine to get it nice and smooth and so that I can start ready to cut all right, so after deliberating for I don't know how long where to cut it, this is the spot. <laughs> and so this is gonna be beginning of my first pendant. I'm going to show you guys how to create different pendants with uh, the, those uh, this clay. Anyway, so here for the pearl, I'm grabbing Simon Says Stamp Flo uh, Fauna uh, background stamp. I love background stamps. They are just so wonderful for uh, for clay making and you just want to take your clay and just press 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 really hard if you're having hard time uh, for the clay to come off try to spray the stamp with water and then put the clay on top and then it should pop right out so now let's move to mica shift which I absolutely love so this is metallic clay and when you're going to when you have the imprint of the stamp you have all those pieces that are sticking out so in order to do the mica shift you're going to go and slide your cutter on top of the clay and try to remove any of those little pieces that are sticking out it is going to take a while but boy you get you're gonna get such a nice result because you're gonna end up with flat piece of clay but you're still going to see the imprint of the stamp it really really is very cool now you can just take a piece of paper and you can uh, smooth it out you can roll through the pasta machine boy it is so beautiful in real life I can't even tell you so I'm going to create a two layer pendant so this is going to be my actually bottom layer so I'm using a stamp a coordinating stamp <laughs> coordinating coordinating cutter that is one step bigger so there you have it I'm going to use that for the bottom and the black piece is going to go on top so since I have all the clays out I'm going to come up with a couple of the other designs that I want to show you guys you can make different things with clay that you have already on hand so here is my bottom of another pendant and I'm cutting out in the black or in the graphite a smaller one and then I'm going to take that smaller cutter and cut out the center of my pearl now that's kind of tricky because you kind of want it to be in the center and doesn't always come out in the center but basically we're putting the black piece 
inside the pearl frame so there you have it it just looks beautiful and we're going to move on to the next pendant and for the next pendant i am going to cut out the bottom in graphite and then i already have the top the white from my pearl pendant that was the middle of my pearl pendant so that's how that's gonna go and here you have my pendants and they already have been baked so now i am ready to to add some things to them and today i am using stickers that you can actually use on your nails and sorry i it's too zoomed in so you guys don't see it very well but those stickers are so awesome but you don't have to use stickers for nails that's what i had but you know your kids probably have stickers in the drawers that you could totally totally use on your pendants but these things are so easy to use besides the fact that you could put them on your nails and make your nails cute you just peel them off and hold them with the tweezers and attach to the polymer clay and it just makes a really nice statement it just brings the pendant to a different level like this one for example it just goes from being very ordinary to very extraordinary <laughs> So I have decided to use the stickers on all of these and the stickers come I believe in gold and silvers as well. I thought white was kind of a neutral color and I would definitely use it on my nails as well if I wanted to. Now this one here you can see that it's kind of hanging to the side. No worries we can just take it and trim it. Not a big deal at all. So now after I'm going to be done placing all my stickers. Um, I am going to add resin to my pendants and that is going to elevate my pendants to a completely different level because you know, look at that, uh, you can see it right here, the resin just brings out that mica shift like crazy. And now I'm just drilling some holes and please do not do what I just do, what I'm doing right now. Do not put your finger right behind where you're drilling. I mean... I actually hurt myself at one of the pendants, not not this one, but I think the next one. But I really wanted to show you guys how I drill it, but basically just make a hole. Now the the ones that are two layers, what I do is basically I drill the hole in the first one. And when the hole is drilled, I'm going to line it up with my bottom one and I'll just give it a couple of turns so that I can see where I'm supposed to be drilling and then I know to go ahead and drill drill there so there you have it I'm going to line it up just like that and I'm going to give it a couple of turns just to mark just to mark where you want that hole to be and it's very easy easy peasy pumpkin squeezy and that's that but please that finger I was like I watch it and you guys are probably just <laughs> saying hey girl what the heck and to decorate it I got those beads at Michaels most of my beads are from Michaels because that's the closest store to me but I'm just going to cut the end of that little chain with the beads and I thought that they would go really well with the you know with the graphite and the pearl so I am being such a professional. I am going to show you how to do it, but I'm not going to show you that on the camera. <laughs> so I don't know where I'm going. Anyways, I'm hanging those beads uh, on a jump hook and then I'm adding the white and then the graphite and then I'm going to close the jump hook in a minute but this is how this one is going to look. Boy, I wish I did show you guys that in the camera, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh that looks just so so pretty and here you I added a little uh, crown because I'm being called the queen at my work the queen of the office so I thought it'd be kind of funny to wear it and see if people are gonna notice it <laughs> so there you have it here are my three uh, little guys uh, the one in the middle I actually changed the clasp and I'm going to show it to you guys in the middle but look how different they look and I'm just playing with the same kind of clay in each of them so here you have it I'm just going to use I think this one is called the um, uh, lobster 
clamp is that what it is gosh I, I don't even know but I really love them they're so easy to put on you just put them in and you squeeze them and it looks just so pretty I really really like it I am so glad I changed it it looks just so much simpler and prettier and there you have it my friends I love the mica shift and boy when you add resin on mica shift it's just out of this world however I am not sure if those stickers should go underneath the resin I think that maybe that should they should be placed on top of the resin just like my rhinestones because I feel that they are just being hidden under the resin they're kind of disappearing and they are just so so pretty well my friends did you enjoy the video I hope you did make sure and chime in let me know what you think about the pendants and make sure that you subscribe give me a big thumbs up and till next time Ta -ta.